Hello guys, welcome to Archive Ryzen. In this video, I'm gonna talk about our new 4-star Assault Rifle Wild Lear, where you can get this Assault Rifle from this Ming Teng event shop by exchange it with 300 lucky coin as many times as you can. You better exchange it for 5 times because you need to max out this weapon skill while this weapon is still available in this event shop. This weapon is very useful for most operative who use Assault Rifle, especially for Chen Sing Ethereal Cloud. Because we all know that changing Ethereal Cloud before the update, a recommended free-to-play weapon is Indicator, where this weapon deals chaos damage that can't trigger her passive skill, where it requires electrical weapon in order to activate it. So after the update, changing Ethereal Cloud recommend free-to-play weapons got changed into Wild Lear, where Wild Lear is electrical weapon, so it suits her very much. If you compare Wild Lear and her signature weapon Anti-Evil War. White Lear lost in its base attack, ammo capacity, and also attack percent increment. While their skill, White Lear can increase attack by 12% and after short hit a weak spot, it can further increase attack by 12% for 5 seconds. So the total attack increment will be 24%. While anti evil Ward can increase the electrical damage by 18% and crit damage amplifier by 12% and also can increase additional 21% attack when the Crimson Sky Shield state is activated for 5 seconds. So the total attack increment will be 39%, which is more higher than Wild Lear. But what if we manage to max out the Wild Lear skill up to 5 stack? Can the Wild Lear surpass the anti evil war attack increment? Now if we compare a full build Wild Lear that have a max stack skill with a full build anti evil war that only have one stack skill, Wild Lear Gun main stat can increase attack by 33% and from its weapon skill, can increase attack by 20% with additional 20% when you attack the enemy weak spot for 5 seconds. So the total attack increment will be 73%. While for anti evil ward, the main stat of the weapon can increase attack by 45% and from the weapon skill, it can increase attack by 21% and also can increase electric damage by 18%, so the total attack increment will be 84%. Even the attack increment of anti evil war already higher than the wild leer. They haven't included the best attack of anti evil war that can surpass far from the wild leer best attack, and also anti evil war can increase crit damage amplifier by 12%, so there is still no chance for max stacks wild leer to beat up an 5 star weapon anti evil war. And if you upgrade this white layer to level 50, you will get the white layer support module that can increase accuracy by 10.13% and also flat attack by 10 points. Well, if you compare it against 5 star support module Inkwell, then I prefer Inkwell because Inkwell can increase aim downside mod stability by 40% and also flat attack by 15 points. Inkwell can provide more flat attack point and M downside or M mod stability, which means it can reduce the recoil when you aim firing by 40%, while the wild layer support module can only increase the accuracy by 10.13%, which means the accuracy of the weapon will improve no matter it's a M downside or hip shot mod. So if you are a sub rifle user, who like to hip shot more than aim shot, then you can use Wild Lear support module because it doesn't matter what kind of mod you are used. Now let's set aside Sensing Arterial Cloud because this gun is our first free to play assault rifle that can be very useful for most of our assault rifle users because none of the 4 star assault rifle have the ability or skill to increase the attack. Increasing the attack is very necessary because it can increase your shooting final damage and also increase all of your skill damage at the same time. None of these 4 star weapon can provide that. So you can use this white layer if you want to play other assault rifle user as a main DPS. For example, Retail Little Sunshine. Retail Little Sunshine free to play weapon is Strawberry Sword Cake that only can buff Fritia support skill to make her become a support operative. So if you want to use her as the main DPS or active operative, then you can use this Wild Lear in order to buff her shooting damage and also her standard and ultimate skill damage. Because Fritia Little Sunshine only requires thermal weapon to activate the second manifestation skill, which is when she equipped with thermal weapon, aptitude bullet provided by her support skill have 10% chance to activate Lingering Anger that can deal thermal damage equal to 70% of Fritia's attack to 5 surrounding target. 
So if you equip her with thermal weapon, her support skill will have 10% chance to deal AOE damage. But if you want to use her as a main DPS or active operative, of course this effect doesn't necessary at all. And while for Chen Xing the Observer, if you want to use her as a main DPS, you better use this gun with level 5 skill, because Wild Lear with level 5 skill can easily beat down her free to play recommended weapon on Ellie Cat and also even her signature weapon Trial Eve. Because her signature weapon Trial Eve main stat can only increase alignment index that can lead to increase Chen Xing skill energy recovery by 6.5%. And increase an additional 6% for each 100 alignment index, where this day was alignment won't be able to increase her attack as the Wild Lear did. So, Wild Lear can provide more attack improvement on her than her signature weapon. While for Free Tiahas, you better think twice to use this Wild Lear because it can affect her ultimate skill very much where her ultimate skill is required to use a thermal weapon in order to activate the upgrade of her ultimate skill. When she uses thermal weapon, final damage deal by lasting flame will increase by 20%. So the conclusion is, this white layer can pretty much sweet ever with Chen Xing Ethereal Cloud and also Chen Xing the Observer if you want to use them as a main DPS. Well for Free Tail Little Sunshine, you can use this gun when you want to build her as a main DPS. But one day you might need to change her weapon into thermal weapon because when you reach the end game build and unlock the logistic third talent where if the logistic third talent is thermal elemental damage the shooting damage will not get any advantage or improvement from the logistic third talent because while Lear only fire electrical damage while her third talent is thermal damage and for free tier has, maybe you need to think twice to use on her. If you didn't have any thermal assault rifle weapon, you can try to use this on her because this gun can provide so much attack increment when you max upgrade its skill. That's all from my videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Cheers.